Agros Wade and welcome everyone to Agros Wade Back Kid Garden. I know, I know, this is a different sort of video. Allow me first to apologize to you guys. As you might have noticed, I have not uploaded video in the Back Kid Garden on Agros Wade Back Kid Garden for quite a while. It's because I am not actually in the Back Kid Garden or neither am I in actually Dominica. Um, I will update you guys as to what's going on possibly in the future but in the meantime, I went um, shopping last night and I saw some fruits I have not seen or tasted before. First I'm going to mention, the first one is the kiwi. I have seen the kiwi before in Dominica but I have never really been enticed to actually try it. Um, so I decided to purchase this kiwi. Another one is peach. This is a peach fruit. Um, we've never had or I've never seen that one in Dominica. And the next one is an Asian pear. Asian pear. Um, we usually call avocado pear in Dominica, but I'm, I'm now thinking pear actually referring to a different fruit and not actual avocado. However, this one is also a pear and this one looks like the avocado. It's designed the shape of an avocado, but this one is just a general pear. And of course, we've got apricot. Now, we've got apricot in Dominica, but I've never seen it look like that. So, these are the five fruits that we are going to try out right now in this video. Um, so, I do hope that you enjoy this video as soon as I can. I'll update you guys as to what's going on. In the meantime, let's go ahead and taste or talk about different ways you can actually eat these fruits. Now, the first fruit I'm going to have is the kiwi. Now, I've already started at the bottom here to try to see if I could use a, a um, peeler to actually basically take out this hairy follicle on the surface of the kiwi. Um, so I noticed that it's working, um, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut the fruit to show you guys two techniques in which you can eat the kiwi fruit. Okay guys, before I go ahead and cut the kiwi fruit, I'm going to remove the peeling around half of the kiwi fruit because I have two techniques that I would like to try out. So first you can either peel it off, I'm using a peeler, it's much faster and much effective than my hand because this fruit is very soft. Okay, this is a bad idea. <laughs> okay, you know what, let's just do the technique I think that will work the best. So what you can do is go ahead and cut the kiwi in half. Let's stick to that simpler idea because the kiwi fruit seems to be too soft for the peeler. Then you take a spoon and you simply dig into it like that to get this fruit it's not bad it's a very unique tasting fruit the seeds are so soft it actually have a very unique taste let's try again trying to see what fruit I can compare it to Somehow, banana and sour mango is what my tongue is telling my brain. <laughs> banana or sour mango. But it's actually a very nice fruit. As you can see, the pattern is very unique. We've got a center core and seeds around it. I'm not quite sure if you can plant the seeds. You guys can let me know if it's possible to plant and sow the seeds. But this is a very effective technique. This one, very effective. I have also understood that you can actually bite into it and eat it but with the hair follicles on the surface I don't think I would like to take that chance okay guys so the next one I'm going to try out is the apricot um, I've seen and tasted apricot in Dominica before um, but I'm not quite sure this one looks a bit different so I'm not sure if it's from a specific country but we are going to cut into it not bite it but I'm going to cut into it so you guys could see the seed oh it's tough boy Oh, this is tough. Oh, okay, the seed is center and it's very big, so that's why I kind of just twist it open. Let's see if I can just... Oh! Yo! You don't want to... <laughs> you don't want to open up for me. What? Let's try again. The seed is center. I can... Yeah. The seed is what's holding it together. Okay. Maybe I didn't cut it enough. Oh my god. This just don't want to open. Hey guys, this is a tough one. This is almost like a failure. <laughs> but let's try giving it a four. Maybe it'll open this time. Oh, wow. So here's the seal. Wow, it is so tough. <sighs> okay, so here it is. Um, let's give it a taste.
Tastes somewhat similar to those in Dominica. Not a very sweet taste. Mm. So far the kiwi, I like the kiwi better. I want to see the seed to show you guys. I don't know if this one is mature. I find it's very tough. This is very tough guys. Okay guys, so this is the seed. Very tough. <laughs> very tough seed. Very tough. Next, we are going to try, and remember to wash this, we're going to try the pear. Okay, so here it is, nice and white. I want to cut it in the center. First time I'm seeing this one, or tasting it, or trying it. So I want to get it in the center. Here we go. Look at quite a few unlimited seeds right here. They have a texture like an apple. But it have a very blend taste. And it again reminds me of banana. It reminds me of banana. Okay, so I took a sweet. Initially, when you first bite into it, it's not all that sweet. It's almost blend. I think you can actually eat the skin. Let's see if our peeler will work right now. Okay, so the peeler will work on this one. It works nicely. So that means you can just go ahead and peel it off. And it is similar to that of an apple. This is a very handy tool, a peeler. Very handy. So here it is when it's peeled. Hmm, it's actually nice. I like it. Of course, I don't think this can go in the Caribbean. I've never heard of anyone growing pear like this. And right now, we're going to try out the Asian pear, this one. I'm also going to peel it. Oh, this one, I can already see it have a lot more moisture than the other pear. This is an Asian pear, guys. It have a lot more moisture. It's already selling moisture all on me. Okay, so we're going to try this one to see. This one, as I said, looks like it have a lot more water in it. Let's see. Mm -hmm. mm. I like this one because it have a lot more moisture. Mm. If you're thirsty and you're hungry, I think the Asian pear is one of the best to have as an option. Mmm. Mmm. It has a lot of water. Saturated with water, this fruit, the Asian pear. It is very succulent. It's not very sweet. It almost tastes like watermelon actually, this one. I'd rather the Asian pear than this one. Now our final fruit. This is a peach. I've never had a peach before. I've never actually tasted a peach before. I've seen a movie about a peach. I've read about a peach um, house in the storybook when I was a child. Um, but I've never actually seen one or held one before. It looks almost like a mango. Um, so let's see. I don't know if I can peel it. Let's see if I can. Okay, yes I can. Wow. That is so amazing. Wow. Oh, this is really peach. Now, I, I want to taste it first. I want to show you guys something, but I want to taste it. Then we'll cut it in the center. Let me just remove all the peeling on one side, then give it a taste. Here we go. First time eating a peach. Oh, wow! <laughs> the seed the seed is similar to to a um, apricot, it's in the center 
sorry to break it up like that but i just want to take out the seed wow look at that that's a very beautiful seed that is a very beautiful seed right there again very hard wow this now the peach tastes very plain it's not sweet and it's not moist i'm not sure if it's supposed to be like that Hmm. There's nothing excited about it. Hmm. It was not all that. I have not been missing out apparently. <laughs> um, what I like about it, the way the seed is in there. So the, the, that's the seed. It was connected to the mother plants right there. Right up there it was. So maybe I could try planting the seeds, I'm not sure. But in all, my favorite was the kiwi fruit and of course the Asian pear. Asian pear, I recommend if you're thirsty and you're hungry. This is succulent, very. This one is very unique, the kiwi. It, it, it reminds me of banana and sour mango. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of banana and sour mango. That's why it reminds me of. Hmm. Very nice. Very nice. Of course, I hope that you guys enjoyed this one. Thank you so very much for sticking around and your patience. As I advise you, I would tell you what's going on possibly in the future. Either I'm back in the backyard garden to plant or not, I will let you guys know. Of course, thank you for your support. Subscribe, like, share. If you want any questions to be answered, leave a comment and I will get back to your request or I'll get back to your questions as soon as I can, okay? Thank you so very much. Guys, remember, backyard garden in some ways will keep the doctors away. And Agros Wade is out. <laughs>